Arthur, tell me what receiving this award from the Santa Barbara International Film Festival means to you. Well, I'm very glad to celebrate the craft for everybody, on behalf of everybody who worked with me on this film, because it took a lot of craft um, to put it together. Uh, a lot of things were made uh, that actually had to function. So it wasn't the usual, you know, artifice and paper mache. You had to be able to drive things around in lunar landscapes. And uh, it, it took a lot of skills, a lot of different disciplines. And um, all departments came together, not just the art department. So it was a real collaboration in the purest sense. Now, you've worked with Ridley Scott before on a number of films. What makes him such a compelling director? Well, I think, talk about craft, I mean, he's a master craftsman who takes something so dry and expositional as, you know, you can compare it almost to a high school physics lesson and makes it look easy and makes it sing. So I think he's at the height of his game and uh, really would call him the maestro. Um, how did you go about creating the look of the Martian? Uh, well, first thing I did was I went to NASA in Texas, and uh, I went to JPL in Pasadena, where they're actually planning a historic first mission to Mars. And I had a look around what they were doing. And they were great because, you know, in the middle of planning that, they always found time for us because they said, you know, we do the engineering, you guys in film make us look cool. So they showed me a lot of their systems that they're planning, propulsion systems, life support systems, uh, motivation for their next rover that will actually take a crew on the surface of Mars. It's all in development. And, um, but their, I think their first test mission, their ter uh, test flight in 2018, which is not far off, so that was pretty spectacular to see what they were doing. We took a lot of uh, the elements of what they were doing and tried to put them together and make them look cool. Isn't that very much a case of art imitating life, life imitating art, the circle? Yeah, I mean, it's very near future. It's not science fiction. This is real stuff that's happening and will uh, be on your, you know, six o'clock news very soon. So what we tried to do was embrace it and, um, you know, finish the job because most of what they're doing is very experimental and preliminary and it's not finished. It's kind of crude and mock-up uh, test kind of uh, units that they're really nuts and bolts purely. They don't have the look. That's what we do. And we brought it to life and completed it. Uh, maybe they'll use some of it. Hope, hope they do. What's next for you? I've been working uh, in developing a, a medieval fantasy set in the 15th century. Another world altogether. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you very much.